Okay guys, we're back for another one. This is a thick demo. I like it. Uh, we're gonna hop into the boss fight. I'm gonna like clear the enemies in the level, collect some coins, and then I'll start the recording at the boss fight. But let's do this. Remember to be authentic and thank you for tuning in. Let's go. I think this little chest is right here, to be honest. Let's see. Is it? I don't want to fall into the water. Okay, never mind. Wait, is it? Yeah, am I right? I knew it. I knew it. Sneaky little chest. That's how you get to this chest. Here you go, four. You probably can find them all. It's probably all the chests in that first level. I'm probably not even supposed to fight them yet, maybe. Maybe I'm supposed to get a little bit stronger in the other levels. Find, like, some secret areas I'm missing. But, all right, here we go. Are we, we're recording. We are on. Let's go. I don't know, is the bomb strong? I think I want to play distance with this guy. Okay, now he's going to do slams. Okay, I can attack right here. Get out of there! Too early, too early. Third, boom, and then that. Two of those, okay. Three, yep, so it turns into three. I'm stuck. Oh, okay, I got him in his second phase pretty fast. All right, let's see if I can take him on in the third one. All right, third try, here goes nothing. Okay, okay, low key. Uh, nah, I can't say that. Okay, never mind. Okay, what? Uh, let's just play. <laughs> All right, here we go. Lock in time. Best first attack. It's a lot of damage. Oh, that was different. Oh, stupid, stupid choice to heal. No, oh, get out of it. Thank you. 
Okay, I think this is my fifth attempt. I'm going to try the blunderbuss now. <sighs> I like my bomb strategy. I think my bombs just overwhelm him. I don't want to get close. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I forgot about that. Such a bad move. Six try. All right, let's go. Maybe I got him on this one. This guy is a step up from the last boss, dude. rolling thing with the boots yeah you can't right, here we go again I don't know what attempt this is bro I think the hitbox
think the hitbox is so weird on those water pillar. Oh, that's the demo. Damn. I'll definitely get the full thing. Damn. That concluded the demo. Me getting my cheeks clapped. <laughs> <laughs> all right well uh i'll give the feedback i'll give the feedback um solid honestly it's fun i was tilting in the beginning dude it feels like his damage is pretty low i don't really know though some of the hitboxes feel like they could be a little bit tuned but then maybe not i just have to see when the full game comes out um because again, it's all about timing and learning the way that the game developers made the timing for certain attacks. So, you know, I'm kind of going in with the mindset playing a dozen, dozens and dozens of games with dodges by now. I'm thinking like closest game I, I jumped to is what dash was I using? I sort of think about V Rising because that's the most recent game I used the dash in, but I think a little bit about invulnerability frames and things like that and i'm like maybe there's some things that are want i have to just play with it more though to see but um other than that the dot that that little trinket that gave more dodges was solid i will spam my space bar because i'm just trying to roll out the way sometimes it feels like i can't get away from some of the attacks maybe as intended i forgot that there's a whole there's going to be whole tech and abilities Tekken, not Tekken, but there's going to be tech with using the grappling hook. And I forgot all about that. But yeah, I mean, it's solid. It's solid. That was a lot for a demo. That was pretty long. I enjoyed it. Uh, maybe I took longer. I don't, I don't know. I enjoyed it. Uh, the pistol, the, the nade is by far my favorite out of the blunderbuss and the pistol. The, I don't know. Uh, some of the hits with the pistol and the blunderbuss feel a little bit weak. There was sound missing for certain things in the beginning. I don't know if you guys noticed on footage, but visually it's pleasing. I like the character design, voice acting, not too bad. Can't wait to meet the rest of the, I guess, like I'll call them avatars of the statues. That one was Glocus though. So I don't know if he, I don't know if he was like alive or this whole thing. Um, can't wait to see more about the lore. Seems like some abyssal eldritch deep stuff going on pretty cool um love the character design uh and the game's fun the game's fun it kept me kept me engaged i couldn't get off you know i didn't get upset enough to like get off <laughs> but yeah man um i would say maybe a little bit more visuals or like cues to walk under buildings a little bit or add like okay so when you walk under pieces or like hidden parts of the map maybe make the pieces that are above your character a little bit more translucent instead of the character just running and you have this blue highlight so like when i'm running to the chest or a lever it'll show the little area that's not revealed that that can also be a way of displaying the game de, um the level of designers crafts behind there unless it's just literally like an empty piece no, i'm just joking because like the whole isometric top-down perspective but I think there should be like some little translucent path that at least shows you where you're walking and um, maybe like the character going whoa 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 a little a little thing before falling off a ledge because oh my gosh I was falling off a ledge just left and right that was painful but also you know I, I do believe in games being like not hand I like challenges so not like hand holding but that that got to me that was annoying to walk off some of the ledges but um because it just felt like slippery like you would just literally walk off and i don't know if there's any if there's going to be any boss fights with mechanics like that i'm pretty sure there's going to be where you're going to have to like probably latch to different platforms and walking off is probably going to be one of the most annoying things but could be what they're going for i don't know exactly what the devs are, are going for with this um what else did i say environments and everything look really beautiful the maps are cool the music the background music everything's good i'm trying to think of what else um i'm trying to go off the top of my head i like the hook design i like the, i like the ui the store i like the whole god of war kind of collect the 
you know like in god of war you had to collect the eyes the gorgon eyes i think or like the feathers and it like had this animation where it would go and then you have collect them all and then it would upgrade your stuff i like that i think the damage on the hook should be a little bit but i don't know if they're going for that like you know i don't know the the smaller enemies died pretty reasonably the brute skeleton it could be just tweaked just slightly maybe a health point down a health point up i'm not talking about some insane revamp i think the damage could be just slightly more again that tutorial boss between that tutorial boss and the boss i just fought the difficulty spiked crazy i do think there's slight things with hitboxes though i can't tell but it's it is pretty solid for a demo and everything so yeah but um that beginning boss had a lot of fucking health and i think it was just a boss to kind of introduce you to like the dodge rolling and stuff i can't remember what ability was there off the top of my head but i don't know it had a lot of health to me but maybe i'm just bad too and uh yeah that that dodge timing can be unforgiving at some times but it could be intended like that i got the hang of it and stuff i got through the demo i could get through the whole game probably could do like a hitless run too i'm that confident let's go let's go it's not it's not that bad i do i do like even when i'm having my little tilt moments i am recognizing that i do have to get the attack patterns and everything down for a brand new game so it's not anything wrong with that but i do think hitboxes are a little bit weird on some of the attacks but i'm not entirely sure i think damage for certain enemies or not certain enemies but um attack patterns are fine you you gotta adapt to those but um possibly a little bit of like maybe like just one tick increase on the damage of his hook blade a little bit because even with the speed increase I, I mean i can defeat and hit faster in between things so you get more attacks off but maybe a slight increase to damage on the hook blade just slight not over the top don't make the game easy i think the difficulty is great in the demo i just think maybe for a more casual person it's going to be a slight slight more bit of a challenge maybe that's what they're going for but i like this the lore so far um because i was looking at the mark of the deep so that made me think about it again i like the design i like the little abyssal i like pirates i like this whole ghost davy jones ethereal thing going on um and yeah man i i yeah that's that's all i can really that's all i can really say mark, mark of the deep pretty cool pretty cool that's not, not so bad definitely i'm gonna say this to the people who just want to compare it already since i played a little bit of hades not hades definitely not it's its own game and obviously i think every game is its own game and there's like the ones that blatantly copy but let it be its own it has its own identity i like it the art style is similar but it's a cool art style and uh yeah you guys popped off good like good on y'all this this is a really nice demo it's solid like it's it feels really solid it feels really solid again personally for me i could just be bad but it's like hitboxes damage feels a little bit low and then i can't really talk about timing and all that because you got to get that down personally so i wouldn't change any enemy timing but definitely some of the damage feels low on some of the stuff like enemies just feel like squishier in this but that can be intended but i think you know how harder difficulties do that in games oh it's so so annoying that enemies just have a ton of health and it doesn't really do anything to like feel rewarding it's just more like a slog trying to get through enemies i think that's the worst for like an action-packed sort of game where you're going to be fighting and slaying enemies i think there's a fine tuned balance but everybody's going to be different on what they're going to feel different on what that should feel like but for me at least it's not a dramatic increase if you increase the damage of the hook blade uh the pistols the blunderbuss or whatever like a slight tick i'm talking maybe one more damage it felt like certain enemies should have started showing the little designs of breaking a little bit quicker that second boss was pretty good pretty good it was more engaging of course that first boss not nah, i think that first boss had too much health i'm staying on that i get it was a whole broken guardian but then be a broken guardian be, be broken be shattered should just be a little boss to introduce you and then that second boss should shock you it did for me 
When I got to that boss, I was, oh, this is a step up for sure. But that first boss, that's annoying amount of health, bro. Annoying amount of health, dude. And I'm bad, probably. Other than that, I don't think I got more to say. The environment thing. So that's what we got. Increase the damage a little bit on some of the equipment that you get. Um, again, environment thing. I think it's a little... If there's like actually designed platforms, I think that's a good way to show off the level design is have it become translucent, the layer above. So you can see the little secret path that you're walking on instead of like not knowing where you're going. Because I, I doubt they're going to ever put enemies there, but that would be ass if they did actually where i fought that little skeleton with the pole when i first fought him i didn't know there was a path that went that way but i could have led him over there i was trying to fight him around the pillar so that's another a good example then um definitely where you hook to should definitely pull the camera slightly to show you where you're going because that was you know you know the little planks on the ground are a good indication though keep that maybe reduce the planks i wouldn't even care if you reduce the planks but had the camera slightly show you where to go and make it like obvious in that way without having planks just or like little things that are obviously indicating where to go um big big thing on the level design i feel like it should be translucent because that can just show off the level designers you know beautiful maze like platforms and stuff and you know you don't have to just hide the water and stuff because i actually like that little bridge that i went under i wondered if there was like water going out but yeah be a cool way to show that um and i think that's really it uh yeah that hook one is a big one to show you where to hook to i think i was literally slipping off of pro uh, platforms and stuff and forgetting because i literally just didn't know where to go but maybe more indicators on that but not like obvious hand holding just like slightly tilt the camera in a little like teasing manner like maybe a little bit here <laughs> Same with the damage, maybe a little bit increase. Um, I don't have any more. It's pretty much going to be the same things. I like all the enemy designs. I like the merchant so far. I like Iridara. Iridara. I don't know if I'm saying her name wrong now. And that's it. Music is good. Pretty much good for me. Pretty solid to me. All right, I'm out of here. Much love and moonlight. Peace.